Hi guys, welcome back to another informative video where we discuss things about saving, investing, stock market, and a lot of practical tips that you can use to improve your way of living. I know this is not the same from the contents that I upload that involves discussion about money, but mental health is very important. Like, how can you proceed or pursue the things that you want and aspire in life if your mental health is not in its good condition? It's very important to note that you can always take a break from whatever you're doing and try to assess what you really need because it will help you in the long term. For the past months, I'm actually a work from home employee. Ever since the pandemic, talagang work from home ako. And it kind of took a toll on me. And later ko na lang realize. Because if you're working from home, the one thing that you would always think of is that you're lucky, which is true naman. You're lucky that you don't get to be exposed since you don't go outside, you don't take public transport. And daming mga benefits naman talaga ng work from home. But one of the downside, and I'm not sure if this is similar to the others, ang downside niya for me, talagang wala ng boundary. So naa-affect na talaga yung mental health. This is based on my experience and I'm not gonna say or impose this things that I've done dun sa mga tao nakaka-experience din. Again, like what I always say in my past videos, take the good with the bad. Iba-iba tayo ng preference, iba-iba tayo ng upbringing, iba-iba tayo ng situation, iba-iba tayo ng pagkatao at personalidad. So I'm pretty sure hindi lahat ng bagay na mamapanood mo dito pwedeng applicable sa'yo. Pero hindi ko rin... Tinatanggal yung chance na baka makatulong rin, lalo na dun sa ibang nakaka-experience ng gantong situation. I am a working professional, I am 25 years old. And alam mo yung pakiramdam na parang tinanggal sa'yo yung years or months ng youth mo. Kasi technically, batang pa naman talaga edad na yan eh. Tinanggal niya yung youth mo na dapat ganito yung ginagawa mo. But now, it's just so boring, lonely, and sad. So, hindi siya mawawala sa orientasyon mo eh, I guess. It stays with you, but there are ways on how you can break the, those things na nararamdaman mo on a daily basis. I think it's always nice to talk about these things. Kasi totoo naman talaga siya. Legit siya. Hindi siya gawa-gawa lang. Mental health is really um, a thing. And when we talk about mental health, iba't ibang grades yan. Iba't ibang layer siya. Iba-iba din ang adaptation ng tao when it comes to some solutions on how you can actually fight mental health issues. So, yon let's start. So, these are the seven things that I've done in the past and I'm still doing at the moment to actually protect my mental health. Mahirap din kasi na hindi mo siya labanan, ha? Importante, i-recognize mo siya and you actually do steps on how you can recover or overcome it. Pwedeng step by step, but again, baby steps are always a one step ahead kung wala ka mang gagawin. Unless talagang um, you are in medication or you're talking to someone. But nevertheless, you can try out these simple things that I've also done. Lalo na kung nasa line of ano kita, age na nagtatrabaho din, work from home. Alam mo mga ganong situation, kailangan mo tong um, i-check out. So let's start. Number one. Um, cutting down toxic family members. Ginawa, ginagawa ko to ngayon na. Though mahirap at masakit. Um, alam mo yung hindi naman sa iniiwan mo sila. But, um, you're just choosing yourself over the fact that yung pagiging toxic nila would also affect you. So, if there are things na kailangan ako or kailangan nila ako, I still provide. But me reaching out Katulad dati na sobra talagang support and all, not anymore. Even dun sa financial assistance, not anymore. I already cut ties with those family members na alam kong hindi makakatulong sa akin. Alam mo yung pakiramdam na mabigat? <laughs> mabigat siya in a way that you feel that they are not your responsibility. But they make you feel as if, as if that they are. Naniniwala kasi ako that you always have to honor your parents, your mother and father. But extended families, not so much. It shouldn't be part of your responsibilities. Ngayon, kung ini-impose man ng parents mo sa'yo yun, you can always say no. But within the grounds that involves them, yung talagang parents mo, 
Doon, I think you should help out. Pero yung tipong pinapasa sa'yo, yung mga bagay na dapat, hindi naman sa'yo. Dahil nga, yung mga parents mo tingin, kailangan sila tulungan. You can always say no to that. And cut ties ako. I block. Um, um, talagang unfriend, I do that. Because I want to protect my mental health. And I guess to those people watching this, you can start with that because it's easy. For me, yeah, especially, hindi ko naman sila madalas nakikita. Or kung nakikita ko man sila, deadma na lang ako ganun. The art of deadma, in short. Second, leaving a toxic work. I just resigned, ah. Magti three weeks na ako dito sa new work ko. And, ang sarap makahinga. <laughs> Leaving behind the load or yung management kung saan ako previously nag-work. Though my boss is really good. He's really nice. He's the type of person who would mentor, coach you. But then, during pandemic, there's a lot of changes in management. Especially the one you're reporting to, the boss. They're also employees. And kahit na gaano kagalit mo dyan, pare-parehas lang kayo eh. Maswerte lang ako na mabait yung akin. It's just that there are management calls and protocols that they are implementing. And hindi na namin yun. Um, nila na kami magagawa dun. Because again, we are employees, we are workers. And during a pandemic setup, maybe, I guess, you have noticed, attrition is very high. Ibig sabihin, madaming tao umaalis sa trabaho at mabilis din ang turnover. When those things happen, kawawa yung mga naiiwan. At dahil marami din nawala ng trabaho at na-retrench, yung load na meron ng isang tao dumadagdag because the person who resigned, kinukuha mo madalas yung load niya. So, di ba, masakit sa ulo. So, what I told myself, I'm gonna leave my work, but I should have a replacement. Now, nandito na ako sa new work ko. You know what? I'm still giving myself up until December. If the environment that I have at the moment is okay with me, I guess I we all have choices, no? Kahit na pagbalik-balik na rin mo naman yan, or what, there, ang daming kumpanya sa Pilipinas, nakadepende na lang yun on how you sell yourself. But, as for me, even though I transferred already to a new company, I told myself, I'm gonna prioritize my mental health. Matsyaga naman akong tao, alam ko naman yung skill set ko. But what I'm looking for in a company is some is a company where I can stay for a long time. And nakakatawa no pag nag apply tayo, may probationary, mara regular ka, etc., etc. But to be honest, that time frame, the 3 to 6 months wherein you are immersing yourself in a company, you also have to assess the company you're working for. Ang pangit kasi na yung communication style sa work culture sa Pilipinas napaka one way. Na dapat yung empleyado lang yung laging umuoo dun sa employer niya. When in fact, it's a two-way process. Ikaw din dapat ina-assess mo kung okay ba yung culture na napuntahan mo. Kasi kung at an early age hindi na siya okay, at least yung dependency sa'yo hindi ba masyadong madami. So pwede kang makaalis. Pwede kang makaalis agad. But eto naman yung sa side ko ha because i'm single i don't have a family i'm not yet married mas madali sa akin but i think for people na married may anak mahirap hindi ko masasabing similar type situation pero for people like me ako ganun eh um lalo ngayon na pandemic and ang hirap talaga ng buhay magulo ganyan dami nangyayari sa sistema pa sa Pilipinas sa gobyerno ang gulo-gulo for me, it's time you also assess the company that you're transferring to. Hindi enough na nakahanap ka ng trabaho. Lalo na kung hindi naman ganun katindi independency sa'yo. Try to assess. Para you're saving yourself from hell. Parang ganun. Third, workout. Hindi ko to nagagawa lately ha. Pero gusto kong bumalik sa pag-workout. Ilan linggo ko na to sinasabi. Um, mahirap mag-adjust from a work-from-home setup to on-site. Um, gusto ko to ha. Pinili ko rin na mag on-site kahit na I could have prioritized a work from home setup when I was sourcing for my new job. But I decided on having it on-site. Pero itong pag-workout, hindi ko siya masingit. Hindi ko alam bakit. But um once you start working out, naging active ka physically. Mararamdaman mo it feels good yung pagpapawis. Kahit nga minsan um mag-aayos lang ako ng cabinet ko. Pas pagpapawisan ako. Feel ko exercise na yun for me eh. So, try to, I don't know, be active. 
try to exercise, kahit hindi matinding workout, pero simulan mo pa konti-konti. Yun nga yung gusto kong simulan, pero hindi ko magawa. <laughs> pero yun, try to do workout. Let's do that. Number four, continue your hobby. Ito naman yung masasabi ko na, ako ha, tuloy-tuloy ako magtrabaho. Um, pag nag-resign ako today, two days lang ako mapapahinga, yung weekend in between lang nung starting date ko. So, kung Friday ako nag-resign or last day ko, Monday agad sabak ako sa new work. Ganun ako ever since. And I realize, ang hirap pala ng ganun. Well, I cannot change the fact that the bills keep on coming. Mahirap naman talaga magbayad ng bills. That's why, even though it's hard to wake up in the morning, I try every weekend to pursue my hobby. Reading books, playing guitar, playing a piano. Talagang ginagawa ko siya. Um, talagang pinipilit ko siyang i-inject sa weekend ko. Kasi nakaka-relax talaga siya. Nakaka-relax talaga siya. Yung tipong y- aaralin mo lang yung notes ng isang kanta or magbabasa ka ng 5 to 10 pages before you sleep at night because it's your hobby. Nakakagaan siya sa pakiramdam. So to those people watching this, if may hobby ka sa baking, drawing, gawin mo. Pag mix ng music, gawin mo siya. Because that will help you ease yung, yung mga naiisip mo, kumbaga. Because sometimes it's heavy eh. It, it tends to get heavy, lalo na ganun. Ganun yung situation natin. Number five, clearing my credit card debts. Isa to sa ginawa ko ah. I don't know, I, th- I guess it's psychological. That every time that I clear out my credit card bills, sumasaya ako. So, I don't know why I included that here. Pero kapag talaga feeling mo, clear up yung bills mo, ewan ko, nakakatulong siya. Try to do it. Try to clear out. Or kahit not credit card debts, kahit yung mga manliit na utang mo sa nanay mo, sa mga um, utility bills, di ka pa nagbabayad ng Miralco, Wi-Fi, try mo. Napaka-effective niya. Ako, isa yun sa madalas kong ginagawa on a monthly basis. Tapos, nakakatulong siya. For me, ah, nakakatulong siya. And sixth, um, talking to a psychologist. I featured Consulta MD. Meron sila nung promo na um, para October, hanggang October, na meron kang free um, psychological mental um, video conference with the doctor. And ano yun na? One-on-one yun na. So, pwede mo dong ibuhos lahat-lahat nung um, kung gusto mo kausap and you want to get medical advice, try Consulta MD, meron doon. Ngayon, kung wala naman silang promo, or hindi ka pasok sa promo, that's, um, that'll cost 500 pesos. So, you can download that app kung, kung gusto mo. And again, lalo ngayon na, if, if you need help, or you need someone to talk to, go. Minsan kasi, ako ah, ako lang naman to eh. Minsan, I don't wanna burden other people with my problem anymore. Especially, I realize that the things that I hate or the things that parang pains me, those are the petty p- things na nagpapatong-patong na lang. And minsan, nahihiya na rin akong ikwento siya sa ibang tao or nahihiya na lang din akong ikwento siya sa mga friends ko. Because I feel like minsan, nag i lang ako or minsan, there's really something ongoing in my head because parang, parang kang drained mentally. But then, you're physical ano appearance napaka active mo napaka strong mo but mentally you're super drained and you just want someone expert in that field that you want to talk to and parang hindi na doon kasama yung pakikipag-usap sa friend may mga times akong ganun that's why i highly suggest that you can also visit cardinal sa cardinal sa may san juan um yung magaling doon na na psychiatrist 25 lang yung binabayad sayang nga hindi siya kasama sa health card eh Kakaiyak lang kasi sayang yung mga na-realize ko yung sa health card. Mga ganun hindi kasama. So sabi ko, kakapanghinayang naman. Mga ganun consultation. Because you, you need that, diba? Pero yon pwedeng consulta MD500. And then the one that I recommend kasi yung uh, friend ko, yan ang nire-recommend niya sa Cardinal. Um, lastly, and this is like my favorite, kaya ko siya hinuli. Um, the last one, not I'm not sharing my plans anymore. I'm not sharing anything to anyone. Um, expound natin ha. Parang lahat ng plano ko, yung ko na siyang ikwento sa iba. Kasi parang feeling ko, pinapangunahan ko siya. And when I do that, parang na mas lalo ako nagkakapag-overthink. 
and overthinking can lead to you um, destroying or jeopardizing your mental health. So, ako, I no longer um, make kwento about my plans in the future, what are my next steps. Parang, I just want to keep it to myself. And if things get a little tricky inside my head, di medyo mababaliw ka, maluloka ka, ganyan. Pero most of those pain are self-inflicted. Yun, I go to someone expert. Yun nga, I, I talk to someone who can actually help me out. Rather than, ano mo yun, parang lurk in your life. Parang ayoko na nung ganong mood. And yung last step na yun, mahirap siyang gawin ha. For someone so talkative and expressive like me, for sure marami makaka-relate nun, na ang hirap niyang hindi ikwento. Pero nag-start ko siyang gawin um, three weeks ago. Three weeks ago ko siya. Pinipigilan ko talaga yung sarili ko magkwento ng mga balakin ko in life. Because I feel, um, pagtapos ko siyang ikwento, parang you feel the need na patunayan na mangyari siya. So you'll end up hurting yourself in the process kasi hindi naman siya agad-agad mangyayari. Say for example, I wanted to build or establish parang parang a small business na ganito. Kunyari, example, um, magbebenta ako ng kung ano-ano. Sabihin natin yung um, jewelries, magbebenta ako. Before, ikikwento ko yun and I'm always excited to tell stories to my friends about my venture. Ganyan. Kahit napakaliit lang. Pero after that, you'll be pressured na palindigan siya. Kasi nga nasabi mo na siya. So now that I am protecting my mental health, I make it to a point that if I have plans, I'm gonna keep it to myself. I'm not gonna let go of that tiny information about myself because I might jeopardize it in the long run. So itago mo na siya sa sarili mo. Or, ikwento mo siya kapag nangyari na. Um, yun, 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 yun lang yung mga 7 tips ko that actually helped me. Kita naman naka-work out loads ako. Because after filming some videos today, mag-work out ako. Kahit na stretching or planking lang yan. Or yoga or, alam mo yun, para lang, para lang active yung katawan natin. Um, I hope if you're going through something, nakatulong ko sa'yo. And kung hindi man, kung masyado nang mabigat yung nararamdaman mo at hindi na kaya ng sarili mo, I would always suggest for you to um, to talk to someone. Madami you can search online, but the, those that I can recommend is through Consulta MD if you want faster. Again, that's not sponsored ah. Natuklasan ko lang yan lately. And then, that um, psychologist or psychiatrist in Cardinal, that'll cost you 2-5. Mahaba lang nga yung pila kapag sa Cardinal. So yun, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Stay safe everyone. Thank you for watching. Bye!